live from High Point, North Carolina, the town better known as Little Chicago, it's time for the Friday Night Gamble, featuring your host, Matt Walsh, and our guest co-host tonight, fan favorite, Earl Snipes. Our musical guest tonight is Mark Monroe Harrison. Hi, baby. I'll be keeping these jokers between the lines. Get ready for an hour of fun conversation, music and mayhem. Pop yourself a butch light as we roll the dice and welcome the Statesville troubadour himself, Matt Walsh. It was a long time coming. But I knew I'd see the day Yeah, it was a long time coming Baby, I knew I'd see the day You and I could sit down And have a drink of Tango Ray Listen to me, babe. Hear yeah, what I gotta say. Listen to me, babe. And hear yeah, what I gotta say. You come around the corner have a drink of Tango Ray. Y'all kick your feet up, stay here a while, pay no mind that the world's on fire because it's the Friday Night Gamble coming straight Woo! Let's do a team drink. Yeah, hey, yeah, you know, I got uh, my colors, I got my colors. You got to respect a man that has tie-dye shirt, a tie-dye shirt, and he has the handkerchief to match. Man, that's styling. I'm that all, is styling, Mark Harrison. I'm always ready and for it turns, a And meal. it's an instant bib. It is an instant bib. It's an instant mask. It is a tissue for a lady when she needs to blow her nose. <laughs> And it also hides ugly faces. No, I'm just kidding. We I'm won't kidding. talk about this big missing square in the back. How about sure. a big team drink there, everybody? Yeah. Uh, you know, Mark brought these Copper Line Amber Carolina oh, Brewery. 
They're pretty good, Nadine. Yeah, and, uh, They're very good. They're very good. So cheers to you. Cheers to you. Cheers. Happy Friday. Happy yeah, Friday. Absolutely. Boy, we got a wham bam tonight. Got uh, a couple of damn no good and damn bandits in here tonight. Boy, damn tell you, dirty you know, dogs. Some old low down dirty animals in here, folks. You got a co host <laughs> tonight. It's our mystery co host, Mr. Earl Snipes. I don't know if you could figure out from. If anybody saw that advertisement, Earl, with you on the, uh, the roll of toilet as paper. the last <laughs> roll of toilet paper, the last ro he, Earl portrays <laughs> portrayed recently the rat, the last I roll would never look of at toilet all. paper, <laughs> old yeah. TP, the, the last of his kind. He was the last of his yeah. kind. Folks, we got the great one and only Mark Buddy Roo Harrison in here than tonight. I've known Mark for. A long, long time. I guess since what the early two thousands, probably I would say at least, at least. But then I come to find out that Earl has known Mark since the seventies. These guys go way. Earl back. has that record for that. And yeah. I, I told, I said, you know, you're I not gonna get ahead of Earl. <laughs> no, you're not gonna get ahead of Earl. You're not. You're not. I'm old, you know. I'm well, you know, you're not. And I've been then, around. He's been around. Been around. Everybody knows Earl. That's Everybody, right. Every, That's Earl right. needs like a TV show. He needs a show. Earl needs a show. Earl needs a show. But anyway, folks, uh, you know, uh, I can't remember what I was going to say. This was it. <laughs> hey, we beat the snow. We need, we beat the snow, Nadine. These guys, are. these guys are mercenaries, y'all. Ain't no snow, man. Yeah. We, we, we melt the ice away. I mean, away there's, like, there. there's like, uh, there's like, there's like about a quarter of an inch of snow on the ground right now, and these guys braved the whole the, damn. It, room. It's just a. Uh, yeah, a winter wonderland. Folks, if you're watching this show, I gotta ask you to go to my YouTube channel where you'll find more shows, Cooking and Butching, Shiloh Saloon Stories, Out of Control Vintage, Short Films, Music Videos. Got a new segment coming up pretty soon called Field Recordings. And uh, you can do that by going to YouTube and looking up Matt Walsh Music. And, or just to simplify it for you, go up there and you will search. Mighty box and type www.youtube.com nadine forward slash matt walsh music and i tell you i've got netflix on the run nadine they want us they, they want to they want they're they contacted me about a deal netflix netflix is that right yeah yes. don't tell Chad. what about the field recordings is that like in a field i can't say much about it i can't say much about it i cannot Sorry. say much about it i have to go to the youtube channel nadine it's good, okay. good you know. shows in fields there's good show. Hey, you can. Hey, listen. Uh, Chet Hardwood spent the whole summer in a field chasing Brian Laundry, uh, dodging cow patties, all that kind of stuff. So you know, it can be done. It can be. Well, done. Bill's character. It yeah, Bill's character. When you're stepping around and trying to avoid them cow patties and, and your shit kickers. <laughs> cow patty. Remember the Jim Stafford song? No, I don't. Cow patty. Uh huh. Remember? How did I do? I don't. Yeah. I don't wonder. It was called Cow Patty. This was after, <laughs> this was after the Wildwood Flower. This was a follow up hit. Okay. Yeah. It was a follow up and, hit. Uh, cow yeah, Patty. Yeah, Cow Patty. She moved into town to find a man who killed her daddy. Yippee I A. Cow Patty. Cow Patty. Cow Patty. Check it out. Jim Stafford. Uh, I think can be seen on a regular basis still in Branson, Missouri, ladies and gentlemen. All right. We headed out that way and some bus tours. Uh, yeah. the story is Chet's coming by tonight because, you know, Earl's here. And Earl, I, I don't know if you know it, but he's got some big news for you. Oh, my God. No, I don't. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, you, you, it's I gonna, cannot wait. It's like life-changing stuff, Earl. Oh, my God. Uh, he's, you know, Chet, Chet's a mover and a shaker. Yeah. He's a mover and a shaker. Does he bring sandwiches when he come? I got... He doesn't bring sandwiches, but they're always going to like uh, Wendy's or something okay. after the oh. show. They're always talking about it. So you know, yeah, if you're yeah. Yeah, if you're looking for, you know, some, we get the thing here. Yeah, we put a pizza on there. Just, Lazy Susan. Yeah. yeah, you know that actually that actually belonged to my grandmother. Well, it's wow. and still you, being if, used quite. It's quite being used well. And if you see all those those dark marks on the table, those are actually cigarette burns. It's vintage. Yeah, it? it was like a party table way yeah. back in the 50s and 60s, I guess. Well, what about now? Well, it's still a party okay. table. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, before we go any further, let's uh, do a song. How about it? Okay. What you got for us? Oh, you want me to play a song? Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. I don't want you to recite po poetry. 
Okay, well, that's why I had a poem. Did you, I see you got I just shit wrote down there. I see you got the paperwork down there. I didn't know. <laughs> oh, well, Nadine, well. Do, do you like poetry? <laughs> I do. You well, like poetry. Mm -hmm. Somebody told me, and I'm segueing here. Flowers. Somebody me told me you write poetry. Is there a chance that we might hear a poem maybe sometime during the show? Chet writes it. He publishes under my name. Oh, I knew you saw Chet. It's Chet. All right, I'm going to do He's got for us, man. These, these two I'm going to do with, uh, and kind of uh, in remembrance of the those who are no longer with us. First on him, first one here is a Jimmy Vaughn tune. The next one is an original tune. Uh, 
They just did some kind of big thing in Austin, Texas for Stevie that he played that at. I saw on YouTube. And, uh, hey, Jimmy's been busy, man. Hey, Jimmy. Jimmy's a bad boy. He's a bad boy. Yes, you know? he is. Yes, you he know, is. His, his brother's bad boy, too. And uh, But, you know, Jimmy is a whole... He's still with us. You know? He's still yeah, around. It was a, it was a good stories about them, them two you know, brothers, of course. And as they got older and started tasting success in, 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 in Austin and, and and beyond, but in kind of their own separate ways of playing the blues. Well, you know, um, uh, I just I just dug out an old uh, record the other day of Lou Ann Barton's mm -hmm. that never, I, I didn't understand this, but it never apparently ever got released. It was, it was recorded in Nashville <laughs> and, and Stevie plays on it and he's, it, it, it's kind of archaic sounding. His sound is very archaic on this album. He's, he's, you can kind of hear how he's just developing all his. Yeah, that was before he started his, his own stuff. Band. Yeah, before he started his own band. He's a young guy <laughs> in it. So uh, yeah, check that out if you can. I think somebody's up there <clears> on uh, on the YouTube. Well, we got to cut right into it, Mark. Uh, you you're uh, the lead guy in uh, you know the fair fabulous fair lanes. The mighty fair lanes. The mighty excuse this, me. The this fabulous year. fair lanes. I'm thinking. I'm, I'm thinking are, Jimmy Bond, the fabulous they Thunderbirds. They are, yeah, they are fabulous. They're fabulous. I'm thinking the Thunderbirds. They're fabulous. I got, I got the Vaughn brothers on my mind. We're now. still alive, man. That's what's <laughs> fabulous. <laughs> well, and then also Medicine Men. Is that still a real Medicine thing? Men? Yeah, we. <clears throat> And then we, we, that was a band who we we had just a couple just steady gigs, you know, certain yeah. place, certain thing you would play. And, uh, <clears throat> and of course, COVID, we don't have to go there. We all know what happens after that. And so that that's on a pretty limited basis now. And the, of course, the mighty fair lanes would carry on. And then you did uh, also did uh, you know your own your own solo stuff. Yeah, yeah, but that was my quarantine project, quarantine project number one. So, yeah, it's, you know, you're home, you're shut down, you, you don't want to play, but so I just, I, I did, I wrote a ton of tunes, which I uh, recorded quite a few of. Most of them I haven't recorded yet, and I'm still... You know. so, 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 how many have you got albums out right now? Or? Well, the two newer ones is still available. The Mighty Fairlanes, The Longer I Live, twenty seventeen. That's available. On all your uh, normal outlets. Is Marty's record still open? <laughs> 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 Absolutely. The record bar. The one, West, the one at Westchester Mall, yeah. They're still is the record bar, if you win to Salem, folks, is a record bar, please. <laughs> <laughs> or, now, nah, school kids. Yeah. Yeah, but, no, you know, online. And then my solo, um, Dive Bar Troubadour. Yeah, okay. Which I, it came out last spring. That was something I just which, which, did. Which is great because your website is Dive Buddy uh, Dive Bar Buddy. Dive Bar com. Buddy. Yeah, excuse me. Don't let me muddy up the waters. <laughs> Dive Bar Buddy dot com. Which I thought was kind of clever. So if you can go to that, and that I always list at least where I'm playing. And, and well, how, how did I'm you get playing. started playing, Mark? I grew up in over in uh, the next little town over Thomasville. Okay. We and, know uh, Thomasville. I yeah. was there for. Um, that's where I grew up, and my dad uh, managed the local radio station of there, really? WTNC Radio. And I still I got the call letters off the building in my backyard. Right. Yeah. Oh, wow. Um, yeah. You come over and see them. I <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so that's where I went. Went a lot of times after school. Did Did, did they have live bands playing there? They had the live. Really, music mainly on Saturday night, and really? it was gospel. Okay, and it was very inspiring to see them come in and stand around that one microphone so and harmonize and just kill it. Yeah, and I'd see these guys in there just just so soulful and, and just dressed, looking good, and just sweating, and they could feel it, man. It was real. Was, yeah. it, was it white gospel, black gospel, they, both? Well, they would have, you know, kind of rotate. They had kind of a blue grassy mm -hmm. 
white group that came in on one Saturday and then they had uh, the black group that came in they would alternate and I think it was kind of the same bands that alternate from what I remember but uh, that was pretty powerful stuff and, and oh, yeah. they did not that. play rock and roll that station was still country hillbilly right and they had a little pop music in the afternoons but what I'm getting into is getting the tons and tons of these demo albums that come in and they never mm -hmm. get played and they start stacking up my dad's office and it's like hey you want it take it and a lot of times Cheers, I would yeah. grab records just because the cover was cool right and it may be a it could be years before I ever even listened to it. Yeah. That's how that turned on the you know, Hendrix, Van Morrison, Grateful Dead. Um, you know, just it was whatever. Whoever had a major label release, but it probably wasn't going to get. What a was lot it? The, Lu the Lulin Brothers that had that album with the, the they had like the cardboard. They had like built actually built like a a wooden big kind of or kind of statue of Satan. Satan is for real. Satan is real. Satan yeah, it's for real. And they, <laughs> they set it on fire. It, so those kinds of album covers. Yeah. When you, when you set it, album yeah. covers that's, that strike yeah. you, that's one that always comes to mind. Well, there was one that... There was Satan, one that I, Satan is real. I, I, <laughs> speaking of Satan is real. He is. <laughs> there was one I picked up at the station and I was, I, the cover was just haunting, and I was literally afraid to play it for a couple of years. It was the very first Black Sabbath album. Oh, okay. If well, you remember that sense. cover. Yeah, with, yeah, sure. yeah, with the witch. Said, or me, yeah. Right there, yeah. Yeah, that's such, yeah, this, I was kind of like, man, that's kind of freaky. The wizard, I, the wizard. Yeah. That's scary. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But, oh, yeah, yeah. Good yeah. Stuff. I put that, but that they, this stuff. They all had white labels, all the, D, uh, the, the DJ records had white labels on them. Why was that? Just the, it was, well, just if, the, if you look on the label, so it will say, it says demo, <laughs> yeah, exactly. exactly. it would say demo yeah. copy, yeah. not for sale. Not for sale. Yeah. Period. Yeah. And, and, so, and, and they were white. Earl, and I never should, bought a single uh, one of them, I yeah. promise. Earl, you should probably <laughs> ask him the, how he learned how to play guitar because you were, I guess, from what I heard before the show, you were kind of around at this time that he was picking up the guitar. Yeah, correct? I had been not not, that, took it lessons from not the that it shows everybody today. Earl started everybody playing not guitar in North Carolina <laughs> folks just for your but, just to uh, preface yeah, this Mark and, and his, his girlfriend now wife Becky came over to a, a apartment that uh, my girlfriend now wife Beth lived at yeah. in, in High Point and uh, she had bought me I was in the bluegrass real big at the time and she had just bought me she they got a you know a pretty good job and had some had some change and so she bought me a Martin D thirty five yeah and Mark and Becky came over I I known Becky back in Chapel Hill actually right and uh, and you know we visited a little bit and uh, and yeah Mark was just getting started we talked about some you know some some really good guitar players Mike Cochran who was on last week I think or the last show the the flat picker yeah, that you had so, on here. So, yeah, yeah so okay, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and a guy named Scott Huffman. I don't know if you ever met him. I never know. Oh, Scott, the, where you at, Scott, man? Scott, where you yeah. at? Scott, Scott is an amazing musician. He is burning. Lives in Thomasville. He has backed up Linda Ronstadt, Maria Moldar. <sighs> He back, he back me up. And he plays bluegrass, you know, for God. You know, Nadine. I mean, this man needs to be on this show. The, the, the guy in Chuck Dale Smith Band, uh -huh. he uh, apparently went out with Elvis's girlfriend at one point. Yes. Dated her. But he's got nothing on Earl. <laughs> this I know. Earl started, did you know Nadine? I know you yeah. went downstairs for some refreshments, but yeah. we were talking about while you're in your absence that Earl really started everyone in North Carolina playing guitar. I heard it. Well, I heard it. He played he started everybody. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Arthur Smith, he's Bob Margolin. Arthur Smith, he's uh, Max Drake. Drake. <laughs> all of them. All of them. All of them. That's the man right there. They sold and I'm gonna tell you well, what. They sold their goddamn soul to Earl <laughs> at the crossroads. <laughs> tell it, tell it, Mark. Well, Ain't that how it went down? Well, you were talking about Satan. First time Satan's, I have real. To Satan's, Satan's real. Satan's real. Satan's real. real. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's, that's why we're here. Uh -huh. That's yes, why we're here tonight. Yeah. Yeah. 
So so how did when, how did you get how, when did you pick up like what was your first guitar? What, what I was you, I was late. was it all these albums that was, made you want to do this? Yeah, yeah I yeah. played a killer air guitar for three or four years. Yeah, so it was your thing. Yeah, was I, your, you knew it. Man, I, I remember I got it was a demo at the station. It was the Who live at Leeds. Okay, and I had that had thing home and cranked it up. <laughs> Did yeah. The, did, did the big. Oh, yeah. I still got my shoulders cut from all that windmill Keith Townsend. But, you know, he said he learned that from Keith Richards. That he saw Keith Richards backstage we, before a Rolling Stones concert. And everything was, was learned from either Keith Richards or Earl Snipes. That's the. That's the I'm going with, I'm going with that's, Earl that's, Snipes. I'm going to go with Earl. I'm going with Earl I'm Snipes. With Earl. Earl does not look like a homeless man at this point. <laughs> All the Rolling Stones fans, boy, they're going to have me. Boy, they're going to have me for oh, dinner, aren't they? Keith doesn't give a damn. He knows what he looks like. Well, he's got so much money. Who, 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 who would give a damn at yeah. that point? My God, they're propping him he's up got, on stage at this point. He's, to got, play. he's got nicer <laughs> earrings than any of us. They, uh, yeah, how, how is Keith Richards still alive and Meatloaf is not? Uh, I mean, well, Earl... <laughs> You know, he was Tom. a little overweight. <laughs> Tom, <that was laughs> I mean, Tom, I'm not trying Tom to. Tom Petty not here and Keith Richards. That's a little bit more apt. Yeah. That's a little bit more apt. Yeah. I like that. I like that. Yeah. You know, Keith Richards. I swear to God, I. You know, he's great, but I don't. I don't get it. People just go crazy over Keith Richards, and I don't get it. I mean, well, I used to he, like him as much as the next yeah. guy, he, but he's still around doing it, though, man. I mean, barely. Yeah. Have person. you seen those concerts? They, he goes. I he goes went, backstage and kind I, of. He has I a drink. That I, and I went and uh, hey, when the lights come up, they're on. I'm gonna tell you what, Mick still got it. Mick, Mick is. I mean, I don't think Mick's after, ever gonna lose. He it, was man. dancing around like he's about your age, and he so. still sings his ass. I mean, he really still does have it. You know, the rest of the guys. Eh, I don't it's know. good. I mean, they uh, had they laid a couple of eggs, but every band's supposed to. If well, you don't, you're it's, not it's human. Probably a damn computer back there. <laughs> doing it all for you. <clears throat> Come on, man. Well, let's rev up. Let's go ahead and rev up the floppy drive and, and get another one going. Okay, we will. And, and speaking of meatloaf and the folks that we've that lost, uh, if we think about Ted Hopper, we did a little show for him the other week. He, we lost him back before Christmas. And, uh, I had a couple beers with him one afternoon. We started talking, and you know, you give back and forth. And I said, you know, the longer I live, the more I think about dying. He said, Bud Row, it's a song. I said, all right. I went home that night and wrote this. So that's why I think about Ted. He kind of inspired me. Longer I live, the more I think about dying. So many are gone, it seemed like I never stopped crying. The longer I live, the more I give. It seems like the way that I need to live. The longer I live, the more I think about dying. Well, the longer I live, it seems like there's so much trouble. I had a dream last night, my town ended up in rubble. The longer I live, the more it seems there's real big trouble in my country. The longer I live, the more I think about dying. Well, the longer I live, the longer I live, the longer I live, the longer I live, well, the longer I live, these things I don't understand, how to get away, a poison in our land. Politicians are bought, politicians are sold. The same old story, but it sure gets old. And the longer I live, the more I think about dying. Yeah, well, the longer I live. Ain't that right? That's right. The longer I live, I don't mind. The longer I live, the longer I 
I'll live Let me one and be fair Yeah, Chris Carroll was the original bass player. Oh, Chris Carroll. That, How I remember old Chris Carroll. And uh, I guess we started that, that little group in about 85. He was one of the first players I met when I moved to Greensboro. So the bar went high. Yeah, yeah. I, t- I tell old Chris Carroll was something else, man. He yeah. Was a guy, and man. and uh, going way too soon. Way yeah, too soon. 54, so... Uh, we used to play, uh, I guess it was about oh, 15 years ago almost, uh, got called to play over at uh, High Point University for these Ooh. lunchtime gigs. <laughs> they were oh. absolutely horrendous. We, we could <laughs> write a book about those shows. <laughs> oh my God, That's they a... were awful. I mean, you couldn't, you couldn't play much louder than this right here. But the, the intensity... About, about this. The intensity and the excitement <laughs> level, level amongst them. And then they go... Turn it down! And no, you can't eat yet. The buffet is for the, the hired help after 2 p.m., okay? It's awful. It's awful. But yeah, I remember Chris Carroll played with me and Joe Dean over there, and uh, it was so funny. We were just kind of all, like, what have we gotten ourselves into over here? <laughs> man, I, I was a victim of, you know, I did just, hey, yeah. man. Was, I do want to put a plug in for this guy. You yeah, know, do our, it. Our, our friend, uh, <coughs> Thank you, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I the took the B-side. Pushed me yeah. along in the grave. Yeah, Ted, Ted played with the B-side. And we played we played a little benefit gig with the B-sides. Mark and I and uh, Papa T. Lineberry plays with wristband. Okay, we, yeah, I've heard of that band. I've heard of them. Yeah, yeah, I've heard about we them. We played over there uh, a couple of weeks ago at Joy Mongers. Oh, yeah. and, uh, and, and Mark really stepped up and took, took the lead. He was like the Paul Schaefer. Uh, <laughs> he, he had everything. The music director. He, he, music director. He, he, he had us organized. I mean, we're, well, hey, listen. I, t- I, t- and I, t- I can't <laughs> stay up that late to be like Paul. And I take it. Are, goes you, on in the are, are, you, are you kind of the band leader in all the bands that you're in? Pretty much. I kind of get that impression that, that you kind of. Try not to be. But you <laughs> are. <laughs> I try not to be sometimes. I told Earl, me and Earl go out, 
Earl's my drinking buddy at the bars. That's the only only drinking buddy I have because he's the only one that will uh, Earl's feeling inter- really sorry for inter- you entertain right the now. thought of hanging you're, out with me in you're public. The, you're the only one under 70 I, years I, old. I know how to be with you anytime. Okay, all right. We'll have to come up and join us. But uh, what was I talking about? I can't remember what I was saying now. What was I saying? Earl? We were drinking. Somewhere. We were drinking. There you go. Anyway, it doesn't and, matter. Yeah. Well, it doesn't matter. Uh, oh, I, I know we're talking about being a band leader. And I told yeah. Earl, I said, uh, I said, you know, sometimes I just like, you know, for some agency, give me a call. Hey, man, do you, uh, we need a guitar player. Tonight. Yeah, that, that's, that's how I like Because I'm so life. used to all my life as, yeah. as a musician, I've yeah. been the guy that has yeah. to deal with the booking and deal with the flyers and deal with the promotion and deal with the... Talking to the audience and all the things. All the fun through. stuff. Although a band leader has a lot of responsibility and most musicians that have never been a band leader usually don't understand how that works. And and that's a lot of times, you know, I've got some crazy demands from musicians over the years being a band leader. By the way, did you get my contract for tonight's oh. thing? I got the rider. Well, you, didn't, uh, you didn't sign it. Well, I, listen, Buddy Hardwood will not be Anywhere near the premises, I, I did take care of that. Now I did, now that and, and all the M and M's downstairs are orange. You and didn't even read it, did you, man? I, I, I skimmed over it, Mark. I had a lot to do. I had to learn your songs, and then you know I had to I had to I had to <coughs> sleep. Yeah, are you out, no, man? No contract. This interview's take, over. Take my Shit. This has never over. happened on the Friday Night Gamble. What can I do to get you to stay? Can I get Walking you? off the set. What, well, listen, wait, 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 wait. Where you go? Buddy Ryan. Buddy Ryan. Look, let's, let's patch this up. It's a butch white. Oh, one to go. Okay. Dandelion clover melatonin IPA. It's up to 56% alcohol. I will give it to you if you'll stay. If you'll stay, I will. it is well, yours. For, for 55, for, what did you say? 50? 56. Well, that was the year I was born. You're damn right I'm going to have Okay, well, he's going to stay, Nadine. Damn, I almost, fantastic. I almost ran off my guess. <laughs> almost. I got thin skin, man. I mean, you know, you're you? using this showbiz stuff forever. You think you're tough and take whatever people say, man. I'll cry at the drop of a hat. I'll you're, cry you're, and I'll you're, call you're, you're, you're amongst the wrong guys because me and Earl are pretty street. I know y'all are. You're pretty street. I guess y'all We're hard. hard. We are some hard guys, man. Really, we are. We're hard, man. We yeah. we we've made a lot of guys. Uh, we made a lot of people cry it's lately. A thing, yeah, it's a statesful thing. Yeah, it's a state. It's it's a statesful thing. It's a statesful thing. Well, man, let's do another one, y'all. Let's let's do another one before we make. Uh, let's do, man. Before you we don't have one of those infomercials or anything coming on, do you? Like where they like try to sell me Medicaid, <laughs> Medicare and stuff. No, but it's, well, it's a good idea. You know. You know, uh, Jelly Roll Morton used to go door to door during consumption, and he would sell. Uh, he'd take Coca Cola and like let it put all this stuff in it to get it kind of gooky, kind of goopy, you know, like kind of slimy. And, and, yeah, and he'd take it door to door and sell it as a as a cure for consumption. So hmm. we could maybe come up with something like that, Nadine. You know how to cook. We could come up with some kind of thing that cures. I don't know. I don't even know what consumption is. COVID. Matt. I don't even COVID. Know what it is. We could do a COVID. You're going to get kicked off Facebook. Keep on. Keep on. This thing looking. Are you still live? You're probably not even live. Mark, Mark Zucker. I shut that down. I'm shutting it down. Mark Zucker turned. Shut it down. Stop it. Holy you know, I'm shit. Shut it down. You need to reel that in. I ain't even gotten chat out here yet. That's real with you. But it is Friday night, man. You know, you. Yeah. It's Friday night. I thought we could talk about cures and yeah. stuff. What you got next? Can I ask you a question? You can always ask me a question. Uh, yeah. When's your next gig around here? My uh, next gig, funny that you should ask, is this coming Thursday at Sweet Old Bill's, me and Earl's drinking spot, mm-hmm. uh, with the Low Down Blues Review Band featuring Tad Walters and uh, Mookie Brill and the one and only Chuck 100% Cotton. Well, that's... that's um, all star lineup to say it's enough to get you, it's enough to slightly get you in trouble. So, it's sweet old Bill's next Thursday, this coming Thursday, early yes, 6 30, 9 30. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. We're going to do our uh, you know, this 
we, 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 I make it a point not to do repeat songs with this band when we go up to Bill's. We've kind of done like a blues series, old school blues. So this time we're going to do West, West Side Soul, like old West Side uh, Chicago blues, Magic Sam, Buddy Meat Guy, Loaf. Meat Loaf, all that stuff. Yeah. Ooh. Meat Loaf is from uh, West What's West that guy? Uh, Joe Satchamachi. We're going to do him. Satchamachi. <laughs> Uh, that reminds and, me. And uh, Yang Wang Meng Stang. Buddy Bolden. We're doing all that Do you stuff. Have, We're doing can all you stop the it. tape? No, well, that's why I go to the car. I need to get my pedals. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to bring I got my Richie Santiachi pedal board, man. Right. I, just, I can make this thing sound like. <laughs> it's a signature. All right, Earl, when, when's Johnny O playing again? We are playing a couple nights after Matt on the 29th at uh, Bull City Cider Works in Greensboro. State Street, right? There, State Street. They're having a big oyster roast all afternoon into the evening. We're going to be there from 2 to 5. Ooh. So, yeah, man. Ooh. Good time. Say oysters? Oysters. They're gonna, so they, me and Chuck might go to that. I might tag along. Yeah. They're going to, you know. know. When you, you don't know. know. You do need. Yeah, there's always something going on. It's a lot to get <coughs> into with you. It's a lot. Well, I we think, like to have a good time. You know, uh, we like to have a good I time. I do believe if you want to go, you need to get on their website and go ahead and put an order in and let them know what time you will be there. Okay. So that they make sure they have plenty make of Make sure you got oysters. When you're there. Nah, what? You don't want to show up you no go oysters. You do your order, but I understand they they Can I order a bushel now? They You could. Yeah. Nadine, I'll just get, I'll just get, I'll, 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 Nadine, I'll just get mine to go. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. and you and Chuck bring them get some, man, You can have, you can have Chuck that. oysters right here, oh, man, and just jam. Yeah, man. Have an oyster jam. I'm not, you know, listen, I'm going to tell you what, we had the uh, the twins on one night, and they brought chicken. Whoa. The Alexander twins, you ever heard of them? They're famous. Mm. I mean, they're famous. The mm. guys, are, they got both got long white beards. Yeah, they brought this chicken, and we had chicken on the set, and, mm. and ate on ate on the show, mm. ate chicken. Yeah. I feel like a slacker yeah. now, man. Yeah. All I did is bring a couple beers. And <laughs> well, they're good beers. Fight. They're good beers. Yeah. Uh, you know, I mean, what can I say? Well, I didn't bring any chicken, though, so I, I, I baked some chicken today, but I didn't bring it. Anybody that brings chicken on the show, it's a plus. Mm. I will say it's a plus. I get it rolling teeth. Woo! Yeah, it's a plus. It's a plus. Like some chicken. Let's play a tune. Okay. What you got for us? We're going to play a song. What about that one you were doing up here earlier where you were talking about all the decades and all that stuff? It says off up on my quarantine record. This is uh, good, y'all. You're going to love Dive Bar Troubadour from last year. And it just wrote one I wrote simply about the year I was born, so it's called 1956. I dig it, man. It's good. That's a good one. So I won't tell you how old I am. You have to do the math. Well, well just do it. I take my age and, sub and subtract four years. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do that, man. Yeah, <laughs> man. Yes, sir. Yeah. Earl's it's, best co-host. This I've goes ever way had, back though. with when when Earl. Earl was showing Chuck Berry how to play. It yeah, was, I mean, I remember them. I, I've read about that. I've read about that. And are you here? Heartbreak Hotel, Hound Dog 2, Rock and Roll's here to stay, and it is to this day. In 56, when I was born, early on the Wednesday war, September 19th, to be a fact, let me tell you now, boy, that's a fact. In 56, we had Woody Guthrie, Johnny Cash, and Jerry Lee. Elvis on that Selvin show, Norma Jean on the road. In 56 it was Don't Be Cruel, Casey Rock, Tell the Truth, Peter Pan and LSD, he bought balloons, 16 tons. In 56 when I was born, early on the Wednesday morning, September 19th, to be a fact, I tell you now boy that's a fact.
56 with Chuck Berry, a book named Hal, there was a Doc Berry, Castro landed down in Cuba, TV now they're praying to ya. Chuck Berry, a book named How Their Love Got Married. Castro ran down to Cuba, PV now and bring it to you. I said that. Well, in 56, when I was born, early on the Wednesday morning, September 19th, to be a fact, I tell you now, boy, that's a fact. In 56, when I was born, Little Richard, fast time I know. Ray Charles and Doris Day, just so many more I can say. In '56, I don't recall. Old Buddy Roll was way too small, still in my mama's womb. But I'll be out there rocking soon. In '56, when I was born, early on a Wednesday morning, September 19th, to be a fact. That's a fact. practice that in and hard yeah we, we, we went over a lot of times perfect. y'all we went over a lot Lord of time. have mercy it's a lot of time this, this thing keeps staring at me could i turn it around to looking towards earl or what you, i don't know oh that damn dragon mm. oh mm. yes sir i yes, think sir. ain't gonna put a hex on me is it? so i gotta ask you where are your bands playing next all right we'll uh mighty fair lanes we will be at uh, is that the same lineup still Chip Click and, and Chip Click and uh, our drummer, he and I had, had this band since a long um, time, right? A long, yeah, long time. He came on in uh, 91, 92. Well, that's 30 years. Yeah, man. Memphis, 30. And talk a little bit. The, the Fairlane's kind of like a rockabilly, <laughs> old school, uh, you know, 50s rock kind of stuff, right? A little bit of everything, though, too. But that's kind of. We 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 we're a variety band. We play a little <laughs> bit of. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Play about whatever the hell we feel like it that evening. Uh, and you kind of like depends on where you play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How you feeling? How you and, feeling? And, and all that kind of stuff. But shit, we've done. Uh, you know, Glenn Bickle plays keys with us. Uh, you know, when, when yeah, that's he, right. Sometimes when, y'all do have a when he yeah. plays. Right. Yeah, he's one of the best in the business. Oh, he's killer. So yeah, when he's he killer. plays, we go in a different direction. Right. And sure. we, we go more like we can go Jerry Lee Lewis. Yeah, you can do all kinds of cool stuff. stuff. Yeah. Ray Charles. Yeah, man. Yeah. Ray. He does great, Ray Charles. Um, and then when you know, all his family is still up in Philadelphia. In fact, he's on. Uh, Baby watch, Glenn will be a grandpa here. Oh, uh, so, grandpa. So, show bud is just out, maybe. He's he is yeah. out. So anyway, depending on really who's playing, you know, if you don't use a set list, it don't matter. And Medicine Men, what kind of band is that get more? It was like? kind of just an offshoot of the Mighty Fair Lanes, right. a little bit more of a... You know, an organic acoustic sound with not without the full drum kit. With, right. Um, Steve O just plays snare and uh, brushes, I guess. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Or whatever. Uh, or sticks, kind of whatever he's sticks come up with. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He got something out of the bathroom one evening and played it. I don't. I didn't even ask him. I don't know what. The... <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> And Colby, Colby plays on uh, normally upright 
So it's it's a pretty interesting. Chuck uh, told me, man, that one time he forgot his sticks and he went out there in the woods and picked some sticks and and literally played the gig with sticks. Well, you know, I mean, sticks are sticks. That's okay. why they call them sticks. That's why they call them sticks. <laughs> We ain't gonna go out in the woods and pluck a guitar out of the tree. I'll tell you that. It's, but you know, it's observe. It's a slab of wood with six. And that's strings a pretty one on. too. That's a 1957 yeah. Gibson, folks. Uh, know, 1957 you, ES125. Yeah, things almost pretty. as old as I am. Just by. It's younger than you. <laughs> Had to throw that in. Had to throw it out in. Had to throw it in there. So, so where are you playing next? Where, where are the next right, shows uh, coming up? Fair Lanes, a week from tonight, Friday, the twenty eighth, um, at the Sawmill Two in Greensboro. So come out. Um, that's one of our regular haunts, but we haven't been there in, in a while. So uh, we look forward to going, coming back. Some good people. Tickets are going fast. Even though the tickets are free, so yeah, if you cool. show up late and there's not any tickets, come on in anyway. <laughs> Just <laughs> leave a nice tip, and yeah. uh, well, you know, come, on, come on in with a smile on your face, yeah. and you'll leave with a song in your heart. He's here. He's here. And the one, um, one after that. What do you mean? Who you talking to, man? <laughs> oh, it's Chet. Hey, Chet. Mark said, hey, he said he's going to be here in a minute. All right. He's, where are you, right around the corner? Yeah, he's sitting right here. I told him. I didn't know. I did not tell him. Tell him, but I told him that you had some had a thing that you were going to lay on him tonight. Right, while he's actually taking phone calls here right. and taking care of business, I have another I, gig. After that, it will be on uh, Thursday, February 10th at Sweet Old Bills right here. All right. Um, High Point, North Carolina. I want you to play a nurse song. I'm going to go downstairs and let Chet in. I may not be back. Okay. Will he bring sandwiches? Though? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get the food. But before I go, folks, I do want to say that I want to dedicate this show to a very, very dear friend of mine that we lost last week, Mr. Jerry Wetzel. He, he was one of the biggest supporters of my music that I've ever met. Sometimes you meet people that believe in you more than you do yourself yeah absolutely god bless you jerry wherever you are the show is for you the spirit of the show is in the spirit of you because you love to have a good time and you was a good man god bless you we dedicate this to you y'all won't you rock it out i'm gonna go find chet and earl <laughs> don't let i'm gonna tell you what on the ice out i'm gonna tell you what listen oh my god Listen, listen. You're gonna be a changed man when I see you down in the green room. That's all I'm gonna say. Y all, y all, is is he bringing an animal in here? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not bringing really? an animal. I mean, I've got allergies to certain. Uh, We've already got roadie werewolves in here. So if you're if you're good with with, I get with roadie number seven like behind that. you, you're you're gonna be all right. You're gonna be all right. Y'all here? Play something, Mark. You uh, had all your uh, shots. <laughs> yes, I've been boosted. Double boosted. I got boosted. Uh, Lord, I had boosted. my computer shut down. I had to re boost it my windows. I got de dewormed. I got the dewormer. I got them all. <laughs> well, all right, brother. We go. Play something. Play something here. Yeah,
by looking at the cover picking out. Son, do you want to get with it? Huh? Do you want to find out who this is? Do you find out who the Zodiac Keller is? Brown Lodge is still alive. So I'm like, where's the fucking beer, y'all? Alright, come on now. Let's start the sound. I'm going to tell how it's going to be. You're going to give your love to me. Hey, what is this? I'm gonna love you night and day. You know my love when I fade away. You know my love when I fade away. Just 
for all y'all recovering alcoholics. My love is bigger than a big old deck. Cadillac. Come on, Jay. My big old deck. My love is bigger than my big old deck. Good luck for me. It's got to be real. Baby, you gonna let me have a titty feel. Satan is real. Satan is real. Satan is real. Help me. I'm in the middle. Help me. Skirt, toy. Yeah, my shit's fogging up. These tactical uh, wear glasses are not supposed to fog out. That's well, something from Nancy oh, Rice. Oh, they're tactical. That's the thing. Those are tactical. And you look out and you see it's tactical ops. You got speakers in them? They got speakers in them. My wife has some well, shades. It's got Bluetooth and, Bluetooth and all things. Yeah. And, and you, I can see for fucking two miles away, Mark. What can you hear? What can I hear? About anything. Well, I can hear it. Listen, I won't say it. Nadine's gonna probably kick my ass out of the show. I can hear a woman's teddy sweating. <laughs> you ever heard a woman's teddy sweat? You ever heard teddy sweat? Oh! Yeah. Not that I can talk about Don't it. Too. Not that I can talk about right now. Hey, I'll just play some fuck. Hey, he'll play anything. He'll play anything. This thing looks like shit. Looks like it's been run through a fucking dump truck. Jesus Christ, I'm, a, I'm getting on his ass. Matt needs to get a fucking haircut or a perm one. He told me he's growing it out to get a perm. I don't see the perm. Alright, what? Here's the deal. Alright. You are going to know what fucking Teddy Sweat smells like. Oh. Um, sounds like. You'll know what it smells well, like too. You might know what it smells yeah, like too. I don't, either way. Yeah. Senses or senses. Okay. Here's the deal. You know when I hired you as my guitar player. I told you that shit was a little rocky right now. I'm trying to get my fucking talent agency off right, the yeah, ground. Right, Roll right, jelly, right. John Ball, and yes. fucking your band. Yes, yes. Now, I signed Oral's band, <laughs> and Johnny the Jump Out guys. All right? Here's the deal. Boys, they were over here. I told you, you yeah. get you, you yeah, play guitar with me. I told, told him when he got with me. Yeah. I told him when he got with me. I told him one thing. First thing I told him was fucking ditch the pick. <laughs> you played with your fucking fingers. All right? He fucking bucked me. He bucked me. He, he kept playing with the pick, so I fucking fired him, okay? I fired him. Over a pick. Over a pick. Yeah. And about six months later, he came back and he said, look, I'm playing with my fucking fingers, chat. And I said, you know what? I said, it's cool. See, so listen to this shit he's doing. Hell yeah. Playing the real shit. Playing the real shit. And I said, I said, look, here's the deal. You're back on. And it's paid off, because listen, y'all. I want a little, I want a little bit of we're going on tour, maybe. We're going on tour. We've been hired to go on tour. And uh, this is basically the shit that's going to break me and fucking Earl into the mainstream. Y'all are just going out riding around in your RV. No, we're not, yeah, Nadine. Yes, Shut up, Nadine. Listen. <laughs> Shut your mouth. Oh, wow. Listen. Listen. I've got us opening it up for fucking John Mayer. <laughs> we're opening up for real. Yes, we're going on a fucking tour with John Mayer. He ought to open up Earl, piano. Earl's going to end up riding around South Carolina in checks And you know all the skirt that he gets. That's what he does. You know all the skirt he gets. Every spring he Man. takes to the road in it. We're going to go. As long as you got the contracts. Oh, out, yeah. it's all signed, Mark. Right. Mark, uh, oh, I mean, Earl's, Earl's going to need a guitar tack. What's, uh, what's the advance on this? We mean the advance. Well, you know. I'll plant your corn You know. You know, usually you get a little something up up front, a little uh, seed money up front. You know, why, why would you? Why would you embarrass me on national TV like this? <laughs> he, I'm, he, I'm, a, I'm talking about John Meyer. Well, I'm talking about Mayer. John Meyer too. <laughs> We're going on tour. And John Mayer too. I ain't playing like that. Mayer, Mayer. Yeah. So I just want to tell. I just want to make the announcement here tonight. Wow. And, uh, I am stunned. Like I, said, I am so stunned, but so. Our lives are going to change. So please. Mark Harrison, we need oh, a guitar well. tech. I'm willing to take you. And also, I want to offer your position as a rancher. As long as I can drive the bus. Are you, are you, have you ever been around a cow? I'm looking for some ranch hands. I've got a ranch. Yeah. There's no fighting on my ranch. If you're going to fight, you're going to fight me. 
I, I'll just fight you. I don't you want to have to pick up. You just want people out here to fight, you know, fight after the show? I, yeah. I don't think, want to have to pick up no damn cow. I'll Let's just go it. fight it out in the yard after the show. We'll figure this out. We'll figure it out. After the show. We'll figure it out. And after I have a couple sandwiches. Yeah. 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 Nadine, you ready to go get some food? Yep. <laughs> don't be fooled by uh, uh, litigators and fear everybody. It's the Friday. Well, that's fear mongering amongst fake Friday night gamble, baby. Come on.